All right, chat. We got another video for y'all boys today, right? I'm pretty sure we got all of these single ladies competing for Rhino with Lovely Sir, right? Now, these are supposedly all African American women. And I have some very interesting opinions and thoughts about African American women. As so do many guys. They just don't say it. There's very few women that I believe deserve courting privileges based on their actions, behavior, and mannerisms. In saying that, when you move into the African American culture and you go around those women, bro, there's very, very, very few women in the African American culture, even smaller than the retrospect of all the women in the world, right? That deserve courting privileges or take serious privileges. In saying that, bro, I met a couple people the other day. I met the guy and then I met his wife. And his wife happened to be African American, but she was nice, soft spoken, feminine, wasn't loud, was inviting, kind. I mean, it was crazy. It was crazy to me because I really never met. An African-American woman that had her type of mannerisms. But like I said, bro, if you're raised with nurturing characteristics and you're actually a mother, you're a good mom, then that's going to translate over into who you are as a person. It's going to translate over into your character. And I was super surprised and I really don't have that much to say. So without further ado... Let's get into it, y'all boys. I got the cap for a reason. Okay. Latex is interesting. Pop the balloon or find love. Is latex in style now, chat? I'm not really a fashion guy, but... Is latex in style, bro? I mean, I see a lot of people wearing it, men and women. So, I don't know. Oh, the tattoo chat. Woo! Okay. Hood bitch. Hood bitch. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> That's somebody's mom, I want to say. Okay. Okay. Chat, which one looks the best to you, bro? Put it down below. I don't really know, bro. God damn. That bitch look like the fucking Power Rangers, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Why she standing like that, bro? What the fuck? <laughs> Her ass look like one of the fucking Power Rangers, bro. What the fuck? Everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It's your host, Arlette, and we are here with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love, and we have some beautiful... Bro, a lot of these Pop the Balloons or whatever, I think it started in Atlanta, right? It started in Atlanta, bro. But... Everybody's trying to hop on this shit, bro. It's damn near like a clothing brand, bro. Like, y'all are just creating the same shit that everybody else has, bro. And trying to throw your twist on it, bro. I don't know, bro. I mean, they're interesting to watch. Don't get me wrong, bro. But you gotta really stand out now when you do this shit. Because there's so many people that are trying to do it, bro. Beautiful single ladies lined up. Make some noise, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to be bringing out some single men one by one mm. when they come on out okay. around this corner. If he's your type, you like what you're seeing, you know, everything is just on point. Do not pop your balloon. But, you know, if there's anything like he said or, you know, whatever it is, if he's just not your type, you can't see yourself going out with this guy. Go ahead and pop your balloon and then I'll go over to a few of you. See why you ended up popping. Y'all ready to get started? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Hello, hello. Welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name's Ryan. 
We got Rhino from Lovely Serve chat. Like I said at the beginning, bro. All right. And? Ryan? Yes, that's okay. it. Okay. <laughs> and Ryan, how old are you? I'm 26. 26. And what do you do? And I, I do a few things. I own two media companies. I run a clothing brand. Okay. And I also make music on the side. Okay, very cool. And now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, I love thrifting. Oh. I love, um, right. yeah, thrifting, shopping, coffee shops. I'm like a museum goer. What? Probably never heard a man say that, bro. Yeah, bro. You know, the top things I like to do for food. Yeah, I like to go shop, bro. What? That's an activity, bro. That's not something. Bro, that's giving off Diddy vibes, bro. Like, Diddy trying to take you shopping or some shit, bro. What the fuck? What type of man goes, yeah, bro? I like to shop, bro. For fun. I'm not much of a clubber. Okay. So I'm not like a nightlife person. I'm more like a morning type of guy. Got it. Okay. And now what are some things you look for? Stop the cap. Stop the cap right now, bro. If that was true, you wouldn't have said it. <laughs> That's what the women do too. I'm not really a party girl. I'm not that type. You have to get to know me. I'm not. <laughs> Oh, hell no. For a woman. I look for someone who's going to be able to be supportive of me and like help me with my with my business and my goals and dreams and whatnot. Okay. Um, and someone that I can just I guess laugh with and not be too serious about mm. everything. Okay. I think that's what I'm looking for. Got it. And now mm. what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers. <laughs> um there's a few. Um having kids is one. Um, and maybe if they're older Damn. than me, okay, might be one. I'm 26, so you're 26. Okay, yeah. got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So we did get uh, two pop balloons. Let's okay. go on over there, see what's going okay. on. <laughs> All right, if we can have your name and age, Brianna, 26. I do have a child. I have a son, so mm -hmm. deal breaker. Got it. <laughs> and Brianna, what do you do? I work for a medical record retrieval company, so, I mean, they have us doing a lot of different stuff. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. And now, prior to him saying, Boy, bitches that do it in the medical field to buy stress jobs, boy, yeah, you got to give them a lot of attention. They going to cheat. I'm not lying, bro. If you got a woman in the medical field, bro, and that's your girl, bro, you better watch out. <laughs> you better watch out. She got a work husband there, bro. Uh, she might be getting cracked on the side when you don't answer because you been. She got another bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. <laughs> bro, she not working late all the time, bro. Like every Friday, you think she work late, bro? Nah, nah, bro. She she getting cracked. I'm not lying. That kids were a deal breaker for him. You did have your balloon unpopped. Why did you? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Looking for stepdaddy, showing it off the baby. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're single. <laughs> Damn, should have made that man wear a rubber, bro. What criteria did he have to hit it raw? You gave him access to your private parts? And he made you... Bro, what? Oh, my God. God damn. Mm-mm-mm. I know. He ain't bad looking. I would like to hear more, though. But, okay. yeah. Deal breaker is a deal breaker. Bro, he's not paying for another man's offspring, bro. <laughs> it's a deal breaker because he's a smart man. Got it. <laughs> and now I know you said the kids are a deal breaker, but is she someone that is your type? Um, I would say recreational yeah. use. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think. <laughs> Translation: recreational use. That's why I started looking her up and down and shit, trying to check out her endowments. Yeah, bro, you was trying. I know, bro. Trust and believe. I feel you, bro. <laughs> like she looked like she got done up so 
I like being ah! serious. I'm just being serious. <laughs> don't I, again, I don't know too, too much about times. her, but yeah, she's cool. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, right here. <laughs> if we can have your name and age. I'm Charisma and I'm 27. And Charisma, what do you do? I'm a hairstylist. Okay, nice. And uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? I mean, one of his deal breakers were if you're older and I'm 27 and he's 26. So, oh mm. yeah. <laughs> and then before he said that, you did have it unpopped. Yeah, I mean, he's tall. He, you know, um, is sure about what he wants. I was, you know, intrigued until he said the age thing. <laughs> so it is what it is. Okay. Have you ever dated someone younger than you? I have. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, age isn't a big deal for me. But, you know, if it's not his forte, then. Got it. Okay. So she is 27. Mm, yep. How you feeling her, though? <laughs> she's cool. Um, yeah. I wouldn't say that she's my type. Um, but yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what makes her not really your type? I would say like, again, I look at the outfits, but also, uh, physically, I don't feel like there's any chemistry between us physically. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Damn. Oh, thank you. I'll That's the nicest way of saying, bro, I don't fuck with the whales. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no way you can sugarcoat that better, bro. Yeah, bro. You really ain't my type. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Physically, it's not there, bro. <laughs> oh my god bro <laughs> he don't fuck with the whales bro you stay your ass inside the ocean bro it's the reason you can't come up on land because you can't breathe you know what i'm saying shit all right let's head on back over here so okay. we do still have quite a few balloons unpopped so the game gets switched on over to you i'm gonna hand okay. you a toothpick a toothpick. Damn, okay. Uh-huh. Oh, <laughs> pop right. the balloon. There you go. So, we do still have quite a few girls mm -hmm. without their balloon unpopped. So, I'm going to have you pop three. Damn. I know. Tough. Yeah. Okay. Based off of what you're seeing so Chad, far. Chad, which one y'all got, bro? Type, whatever it may be. Pop those three. I like and then the I'll one go, in the black. Go over to each of them. And we'll see why you ended up popping. Or the blouse, Can I ask any questions, is. or are we just after this round? Oh damn! Uh -huh. I don't even talk to them. <laughs> damn. I know. I know. That's why this um, is tough. <laughs> this is brutal. Okay. Um. All right. You pop those three, and I'll come after. Damn. You're done. Yeah, I know. Hold on now. All right. Doing <laughs> three. Um. Three. Let me Chad. see here. Sorry. Damn. Right. Two more. Um. Damn, this is hard. Okay. All right. Let's start with the first one you popped. First two were <laughs> if you valid. Can have your name and age. I'm Lex, and I'm 23. I mean, and Lex, what do you do? I'm an second, insurance third. broker, and I host Christian parties. Oh, very Amen. Nice. <laughs> and now, why did you have your balloon unpopped? You gotta watch out for those religious bitches. I'm not lying, bro. <laughs> yeah, boy, you gotta watch out. That's some of the most dangerous women, bro. Cause you don't know if the damage turned them to that shit, bro, or if they had good mannerisms since a child. Shit. <laughs> Boy, you gotta watch out. <laughs> you gotta watch out, bro. He had his stuff together. Literally, that's it. And he light skin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not complaining about that. <laughs> so, Ryan, okay. why did we end up popping her balloon? Damn. You know what it was? I think it was your demeanor. Just the expression on your face didn't look that enthused i think that was just your natural resting pose that is and that was it that was literally it i get that a lot so it's all good mm -hmm. you're obviously a great person so <laughs> i didn't have anything to go off of so yeah right see now she's smiling it's different mm -hmm. isn't there we it? go it's different uh-huh <laughs> all right thank you <laughs> if we can have your name and age i'm jasmine 26 okay jasmine what do you do i'm a graphic designer and comedian okay nice and why did you have your balloon unpopped for ryan um, we have similar interests. Um, he's tall, tattoos. Okay. <laughs> now, Ryan, why do we end up popping hers? Um, I think it was the outfit for me. Okay. Um, to be fair, I didn't know I was going to be here today. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's what you wear on a daily basis, bro? But <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuck you mean? That's not an excuse, bro. <laughs> that's even worse, bro. The fuck you mean? I guess it was just, again, the presentation isn't my cup of tea, so. Got it. It's all good. Okay. <laughs> Let's go on to our third lady. Hello. Hey, if we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Karma. I'm 24. Okay. Damn. Karma, what do you do? I'm a singer. I'm also working in v um, UGC doing videography. Oh, very 
cool. Okay. And now, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Oh, I don't. Damn, bro, you got enough bracelets? Shit. The fuck you try to fill your entire arm for or something, bro? That's the style? You got like 15 bracelets. I got two, bro, and I'm already in shit. You gotta ask him. <laughs> no, no, no. Why, why'd you have yours unpopped? <laughs> no, oh, I think he's attractive. I like his tattoos, and I think he's a cool person. And I heard he was also in music and interested in the same stuff as me. Nice. Okay. Ryan, why'd we end up popping hers? Um, again, I'm gonna go on the outfit, and the, it's the piercings. Um, it's okay. I guess it's just that aesthetic isn't my favorite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I'm into less, less showy. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Definitely feel the vibes. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like but, seeing people with multiple chains, but on the face. Mm -hmm. the <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I mean, you're an artist, so it makes sense. It's like that's your well, you're an expressive your person. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Well, I appreciate it. Thank mm -hmm. you. Wait, hey, where are piercings okay, at? Okay, let's go those. right on back up here. Does she have a septum piercing? I will see chat. She has a septum piercing. Shit! Ah! Shit! So, now, you can go ahead and ask the ladies a question. Kind of help you narrow it down. Okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, we have how many people left? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so, what is the worst part about dating you? Mmm. All right, let's start. Oh, they going to count. Worst thing about you, worst here. aspect, character Realizing trait. what yeah. that count okay. is. We'll start with your name and age. <laughs> Hi, I'm Esther, and I'm 23. Esther, what do you do? I'm a medical assistant and a full-time nursing student. <laughs> Part about dating me, um, I would say just patience. You know, I'm not as patient. I'm working on that. So I would say... I'm still working on my patience still. In what okay. regard, patience? Like, Just not, you know, we live in such a microwave, you know, society. We want things here and now. Oh. So I'm working on just like... A microwave on society? Timing. I ain't never heard of that. Yeah. Okay. What the All fuck? Right. <laughs> Your name and age? My name is Jacqueline. I'm 25. Hey, Jacqueline, what do you do? I'm currently a full-time student pursuing a career in aviation. Damn! Nice. Okay, thing about dating me, I'll probably say patience as well. I'm impatient. Okay. Okay. Want add anything to that? I want something different. Oh. Something different. Mm -hmm. Um. Can we come back? <laughs> <laughs> you want to circle back to her? Yeah, we can circle back. All right, all right. Fine. We'll give you some time. <laughs> Bro, you only got one quality that you could think of that's negative about you, bro. <laughs> bro, if you were to ask a man that question and he was being truthfully honest, bro, he could probably give you three or four right off the bat, bro. Come on, bro. You are no god, sweetheart. I don't know what the hell your ass talking about. Can you come back to me? <laughs> like, you don't know, bro. you just trying to figure out which one's the worst that's not going to get you in trouble. I feel you, bro. Trust, but you're not fooling me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get your name and age. I'm Kayla. I'm 23. Okay, Kayla, what do you do? I do real estate and property management. Okay, Great. and then just to answer his question, what's the worst thing about dating you? That's it. Um, I don't want to seem perfect, but I'm just like how he was explaining himself. Bruh. I'm very cool. I'm chill. I'm laid back. I don't expect a lot of stuff to happen. Um, I came from a family of two parents, so like I, I mean, I don't know, but. Okay. As far as like, I don't know. I'll eat your food, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I really do not know. But not to sound like I'm cocky or nothing, but there's really. I'm just a patient person. I don't mind like. You don't know anything at all, bro. Oh hell no. <laughs> she has no cons. Chat only pros to her, bro. You only elevate if you date her. I'm not the go with the flow type of person, but if you know when the time is right, we need to go ahead and make sure we on that type of time. What? That's your car, the fuck, bitch? <laughs> yeah. I don't okay. know if that makes sense, but... <laughs> okay. Let's, let's go back. I think we <laughs> okay. gave her enough time now. Okay. <laughs> so maybe the worst thing about dating me could be like i have high expectations like if you tell me you're gonna do something i expect you to do it and if you don't that kind of bro that's supposed to be a common standard among everybody when you say something you're supposed to do it bro that's your word 
How is that a bad what? I expect that from everybody, regardless of your gender, bro. If you say you're gonna do something, you better do it. It becomes a problem for me. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Let's go got two more down here. Alright, your name and age. My name is Mishna. I'm twenty-three. And Mishta, what do you do? I'm currently a makeup artist, full time. Nice. Okay, and just to answer his question, um, if I had to say the worst thing about dating me, it would probably say how outgoing and goofy I could be. Mm. I'm the youngest of three, so I kind of have that young child, the, the younger sibling syndrome. So I kind of was bouncing off the walls. By the grace of God, I've been working on. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Youngest of three, bro. Where is the father? Let me know where the father is, bro. Don't end up like, come on, bro. Let 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 me hear, bro. A little bit better, cause like our last person said, Woo! no one's perfect. I don't like to think I'm perfect, mm -hmm. but with everything, it's hard work, and I feel like I've been doing better. Mm -hmm. But yeah, good. Okay. <laughs> okay, if we can have your name and age. Sure, my name is Tiara. I'm 22 years old. Okay. And what do you okay. do? Uh, I work remotely for a specialty pharmacy, and I'm in school uh, for a neurology. All right. And then just to answer this question, what's the worst thing about dating you? Sure. I mean, I think that word is pretty subjective. Um, I wouldn't say there's a worst part of dating me because I'm pretty open to learning about myself. And, you know, if there's something that a quality of me that needs to be worked on, I'm oh, okay, okay with working on it. Oh, I was where the hell are you I, going I with that, bro? That I am working on is taking other people's opinion um, into perspective and looking at both sides of the story. Um, typically, I'm overthinker and I, I just think of my story, my side and then I'm like, okay, let me calm okay. down. And, uh, it, you know, it's really never as um, exaggerated as, as they tend for those perspectives. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's head back on up here. He liked that so one, Just switch it on over to you. What's the worst thing about dating you? Um, I'm opinionated. So I just have strong opinions on things. Okay. And uh, Facts. <laughs> I'm a truth seeker. It's wrong and like this is the right way to do things or mm -hmm. this is how it should be done. I'm open to it, but I feel confident in my decision making. So that's why I like to do yeah. things a certain way and how I like to do them. Got it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So after we have heard the ladies, I'm going to go ahead and have you pop three. <laughs> okay, okay. We're going to have you pop three of their balloons based off of what you've heard and what you've seen, all that okay. stuff. Um, three. Okay. Oh, man, this is this is brutal. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do... Okay. Okay. Let me see how I want to... <laughs> This is terrible. Um, <laughs> what am I looking at? Mm, and let's go to... Okay, since we're here, we'll start with her. Okay. So why'd you end up popping her balloon? I... Can you remind me of what your answer was? My answer was I have high expectations. Okay. Um, I think... This one's tricky because I'm, I'm visually drawn to her, mm. but I think something... There's like a personality difference. Um, it's, I don't think it's based on her answer. Okay. I just don't, I don't know. I don't have a concrete answer necessarily. Okay, if you like mm -hmm. that. <laughs> All right, mm -hmm. let's go on to our next girl. Why okay. do we end up popping her balloon? It's intuition, um, chat. It's intuition, chat. At least she's understandable and she doesn't call him insecure. His intuition. <laughs> Your voice. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, but that, I mean, I, 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 not to say I don't like that, but I'm, I think voice is something I'm Ooh. very attracted to or drawn to. Yeah. And if I'm picturing a long term relationship with someone, it's got to be someone that I really love how they speak. So that's the honest answer. Have you gotten that before about your. Oh, yeah, bro. You got to go. Look, look, you got the attitude. No! <laughs> Down the 50 yard line with that one, chat. No. Uh uh. How the fuck are you in? You were the real estate bitch, right? You in real estate? That's how you act? No. Bitch, I ain't buying no property from your ass. Hell no. Nah. Your voice? Hell no. I mean, no. <laughs> Most people like my raspy voice and then I got an accent. So, like, I don't know. But so I mean, like, that's how you no. somebody high pitched. I don't know. But that's on you, Pookie. 
Oh no! Bitch, you gotta go! No, 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 hell no! <laughs> no, bro. If you a woman watching this, bro, don't ever call a man Pookie. I don't give a fuck who you are, bro. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it, bro. It's an immediate turn off. And the second thing is, bro, we never gonna speak again. I promise you, bro. <laughs> you say it once, bro. You get a warning. You say it again, we never speak again. I'm not even going to say, oh, don't say it. It's all good. Okay, let's go on yep. to our third popped balloon over here. Okay, so why did we end up popping her balloon? Um, She was, she seems motherly to me. Like. That's a bad thing. That's a good thing, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> bro, what type of woman do you want, bro? You want a man? The fuck? Um, like, mm -hmm. just I was me. giving, I was just giving mother. Uh huh. That's it. But don't usually men want to go for someone who's like their mother? Yeah, I mean that was my answer. That's okay, it. Okay, that's mm. fine. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, we got a pop. <laughs> Why did we end up popping our balloon? It's giving mother. Isn't that what you want, kind of, in a woman? It was just. I think it was the outfit, it was how she was put together that was like the mother vibe. That was it. Yeah. Okay. Right. I don't think it was her. Bro, you should have said like auntie or grandma or some shit, bro. Not mother. She has motherly characteristics, but I think she could have put on a different outfit. That's what you should have said, bro. Like, I don't like her outfit. But I've never heard a man like, yeah, bro, she got motherly characteristics. It's not what I want at all. I want a bitch with face tats. Bro, what? Personality necessarily. I but, mean, to yeah. each is yeah. their own, no, bro. I mean, but I find him handsome. He's typically what I go for. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. Okay. I feel like... It's all good. <laughs> the comment. The comment. Okay. Yeah. For me personally, like, I want to look like a mother. Like, I mm. want to look like someone's wife, you know? Yeah. So it's like when you said it's giving mother, I took that as, like, a compliment. But I don't yeah, think you mentioned exactly. that as a compliment. I think it was mm. more of like a... Insult kind yeah, what of, type you know, of woman you want, bro? You are, <laughs> what? I like your answer so far. I appreciate that. Yeah. You want yeah, somebody with nurturing qualities, Just the way bro. you interpreted my critique. Yeah. No, I get that. It's all good. I get that. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, cool. We do have our unpop balloon down here. Mm -hmm. Let's go on over here. Did you have any questions you wanted to ask him? Sure. What do your daily habits look like? My daily habits? Um, I wake, let's see. I start with waking up. And I work Monday through f Friday. Okay. Um, the weekends is where I take my time to relax. But I wake up, I like to go to the gym three times a week. Mm -hmm. And then I'm always working. My day looks different usually every single day. So I don't have a ice plunge and then two, two hours of meditation and then this. Oh, it's like I drove to Arizona today. Like I, I keep it very random. So I can't say I have a daily regimen that okay. I follow. Um, but I guess in terms of just habits, I don't know, I just like to get my work done before 6 p.m. So how do you find time to care about yourself? Like, what do you do to <clears throat> cater good. to yourself? That's a good wait, question. Wait, what does that mean? I think I have difficulty with that. Um, it's hard to find a balance between being relaxed, comfortable, and like self-care, quote unquote, okay. and working and grinding and like, so I don't think I have an answer to that. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I have difficulty with that. Sure. Okay. Um, what? What are she you? Could help with what that do you look for, sure. for in a relationship? Um, kind of like what I mentioned earlier, which was just someone who's supportive and willing to. I think allow me to lead as well. Mm -hmm. uh, lead how? Lead in basically every way. Um, what? What is every way? Can you be more specific? Probably like when it comes to decision making. Let's say we're traveling. We're going on a trip. Okay. I'll book the trip. Um, I'll be in charge of like the itinerary and I can ask you, hey, what do you, do you like this? Do you like this? Cool, we'll set this up. We'll have this, mm -hmm. the Uber, I have it booked and we'll pick us up at 6 p.m. Like, I like doing stuff like that because I don't know, I just like having- It's called being my, a man. <laughs> I guess my way, oh. so if, if I have to put it like that. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, do you smoke or drink or take any? Okay. Nah, I stopped drinking when I turned 21. Um, it's just something that, no, it doesn't agree with my system. Sure. So I don't okay. smoke or nothing. Yeah, sure. 
Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah. Let me bring y'all all up here. Okay. Let's come up. Let's come up. <laughs> Chow, all right. So do match? you have any final questions before we determine if y'all are, you know, filling each other? I don't have any other questions. Um, you don't have any children? Uh, no. Nope. Uh, I'm just going to pop because I'm sorry. Um, I just, um, I don't feel like good energy. I'm, I mean, I'm not sure. You're a really handsome person, but I feel like intellectually what? maybe we wouldn't connect. We'd be on different levels. Um, when you said um, you're not really sure how to apply, like, balance into your life, I'm, that's really important to me. And I feel like I, even though. So you're supposed to help him with that. <laughs> what that's really important to you exactly so if it's important to you and he probably wants to do it but doesn't know how or he doesn't have the time to do that that's when you help him that's why there's two people in a relationship i'm 22 i've definitely worked myself up to be um to a point where i can be balanced and find um time to take care of myself and i kind of want to meet someone that's already where i'm at um, yeah, but other than that, you sound like you're a really good person. You have a good trajectory that you're going on, and I hope you wish the best. <laughs> all right, all right yeah. we'll, we'll all good. Go on back. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, I think it's a valid criticism, and I think uh, it's, it's good. I like what you said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's like, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, Ryan, we weren't able to find you a match today, but thank you so much for coming on. Let's give appreciate it up for him, ladies. Thank you, guys. I'll take the mic. There you go. <laughs> thank right you. All right, chat. I'm going to end it here, bro, because I was really just trying to see Rhino's part. And I thought it was an interesting video, bro. Unlike a lot of the 20v1s or other dating videos in the past, I really didn't have to use the cap that much. I thought that most of them were telling the truth. Or maybe there were a couple of lies that even got past me, which is extremely rare. But it does happen. And I really don't have that much to say. So I'm going to catch y'all boys in the next one.